Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? My name is Sega, and welcome back to another episode of Laurel Heroes. Today, we are going to see how I build uh, or how I equip my clerks. I know, I know, it was supposed to be the striker one, but since I don't have many time, I'm gonna do first clerics. Then I'm gonna do snipers and leave the the striker ones for the last video because those videos are too long when there's so many heroes. So we are gonna start as quickly as possible because there's only 10 clerics in the game. And don't forget, I'm gonna leave the tire list down on the description of the video with the Sega tire list, which is a personal tire list, okay? I'm gonna start with the SS Cleric, which is Fire Vanessa, my beautiful Fire Vanessa, who I think is the best Cleric in the game at the moment, even with the new ones as the Dragon Gear. And why I think she's the best is because her second skill, which kills all allies in proportion of the user defense. So more defense means more heals. Increase all allies defense for three turns. So if you max this skill, you can use this every three turns and you will have triple defense every every turn. That's really good. Plus, her ultimate is the best ultimate in the game because of the invincibility and heals all allies a proportion to the user maximum health. So, she needs health and defense. Her basic skill is a Mar Mash. Her first passive increased defense, which means more heals. And her second passive skill decreased damage from water element enemies. Okay, let's check her equipment. Oh my god. Okay, on her equipment, I focus on defense because the heals and the set the healing set because it helps a lot. As you can see the attributes, I have health and defense and priorities plus speed. This is really important. And for end game, you will need resistance. Let's check her weapon, health, speed, defense, her body here or Says ropes, health, resistance. She doesn't have our main weapon yet or a relic weapon. Gloves, defense, and health plus resistance. Boots, health, defense. Rings, speed plus on defense 20 percent defense is, is really good necklace speed and defense that's it now let's take a look of the second best but to be honest she could be first place too a lot of people say that water vanessa should be first because she can re revive allies but I always say you don't need to revive a life if they are not dead. So it's better to prevent that. And how you prevent that? Equip better or have better equipment and use fire Vanessa. That's it. You will have a lot of defense and you will not die in the battlefield. But if you ever die in the battlefield, you will use water, Vanessa. She's cute too. 
look at her eyes wow i will say oh to be honest i always use this couple this duo for me is the best duo in the game water and ice uh, uh, i mean fire and, and water or water and fire is the best duo in the game but now we got the dragon gear so you can use dragon gear with water vanessa or dragon gear with fire vanessa and it will work wonders let's take a look of her skills the first skill doesn't do anything but to herself second skill it, it heals yeah it's true it grants all allies a leash buff a leash buff that only matters for the strikers because the other heroes doesn't take advantage of this and in this she needs a lot of attack power so this can work very well for this skill is that's why i believe fire vanessa is better plus the other thing i mentioned before her ultimate it should be the priority because it revives allies and heals them in proportion of, of the user defense but that's it first passive skill increase attack which means more heals second skill decrease damage from air elemental enemies that's it let's take a look of her equipment as you can see she have a lot of health a lot of defense a lot of speed uh, i believe i can do more speed here and some resistance she's okay at the moment i use a life set i should use a defense set i believe it's better and take a look of her weapon health speed defense resistance Says rough defense speed health the buff rate is not really something good for her gloves defense speed boots defense speed ring health i could use a uh, speed ring but i believe health is all right because she don't need to be the first one to to act because at the beginning of the battle uh, nobody is gonna be dead you know <laughs> so she don't need to add first she don't need so much speed necklace with speed and this one is really good for her plus health i believe that's it now let's take a look at the third uh, double S cleric, which is Sifre, the dragon gear. She's, uh, let's say, uh, new to the game. I will say the premium heroes are not here on my tire. Well, well yeah, they, they will be on the tire list, but I can check their equipment because I don't have them. But if you want to buy a cleric i recommend to buy dar merlin or like vanessa but i believe dar merlin is better okay let's take a look of the dragon girl i'm gonna call her sif because this name is really hard for me to pronounce let's take a look of her skill the main skill or the skill i recommend for her is the second one which Heal all allies in proportion of the user maximum health. So she needs a lot of health. Generates a shield for the allies based on the user maximum health. So once again, this is really good because I just focus on health. And you will see later the other attribute, which is, yeah, I'm going to tell you spoilers. It's going to be a speed. <laughs> uh well you can use this every two turns which is awesome 
hurt basically doesn't do anything good but to fill out the action gauge reduce the user skill cooldown yeah it's okay and her ultimate attack all enemies so it does some damage 70 percent chance to reduce their action gauge by 20 percent that's good but it doesn't work for rage Heals all allies in proportion to the user maximum health, really good, and increase their action gauge by 20%. Uh, another plus. Her first passive increased health, which translates in more heals, really good. And her second passive decreased damage from dark elemental enemies, really good skills. Let's take a look of her equipment. The is the last one to get here and the first one to get the weapon. <laughs> the first relic in battle the user resistance increased by 70% not something you really need at the moment. Her second relic, the refined one, upon receiving damage if the ally currently with the lowest amount of health has any debuff 50% change to remove one of the more recent debuffs from the say alley. Something uh, I will say no, not to this one. Well, her divine relic, I believe, is the best one because when she attacks, is there is a 50% change to reduce the damage that the target deals for two turns of the, the enemy deals for two turns really good because that's like another defense mechanism <laughs> now let's take a look of her equipment her weapon health which is really good for her heals some defense says rope with defense speed this is one of the higher speed I ever see it. I believe I'm the only one who has so high speed on a body armor. Plus health, the always health. Gloves, we have some speed and defense. Boots, we have and defense. Rings, with speed, defense. Necklace with the speed, health, and defense. And as you can see, a speed is the king. So she's gonna add first, she's gonna cast the shield on everybody, and she's gonna be on the next round ready to heal them and shield them again. That's really good. Plus, look at all the health. And I believe I can get more health here. Defense, I'm not so happy. I believe I can get more. Uh, resistance is okay. Okay. Now let's go to the tire S. And I believe it's going to be water barretta. It's a surprise. Everybody thinks I will choose air charlo. But to be honest, for me, Water Barretta, after the skill balance, she got better. She's one of the best healers for my raid setup. I use both Vanessa plus Dragon Girl plus Water Barretta. And sometimes there are Johan, she's, I mean, he's really good too. Okay, Water Barretta, let's take a look at her skills. Uh, her basic skill attack the select enemy heals the ally with the lowest health healing is in a proportion to the user attack so she needs a lot attack power she's a barrel cleric a lot damage to heal 50 percent chance for her look to kick and heal the ally a second time this is really good so you can heal with the basic attack twice, even twice. 
Her second skill heals all allies in proportion to the usual attack. Once again, 50% change to for her look to kick and increase all allies as young guns, but 20% really good again. The heals, the action gauge, really good. And her ultimate attack the enemy, heals the user and put her to sleep, which you will think is really bad for her, but to be honest, on rights, the, the enemy is always attacking, so she's gonna wake up on the next turn. It generates a shield. This is really good for all allies based on the user attack. So we need to to have a large attack power to heal and have a better shield. The shield is like the Air Charlotte. This one, I believe, is, is, it could be better. Focus on these two. Oh, you know what? You could focus on all three skills. But the passes doesn't help much, and resistance doesn't help. Damage, decrease damage from fire elemental enemies because she's a water type, doesn't do much. So, does not matter these two. Okay, let's take a look of her equipment. She got a really good weapon too. Her relic invited the user attack power increase. This is good, more heals. Her second weapon up and attacking 60% change to grant the user immunity. This one I don't recommend. It's not really a good option just because you don't get the buffer every time on every part. And the last one I believe is the best because when she get damage. Each ally is guaranteed a 40% chance to gain a health regeneration, a health regeneration buff. Another heal, which is really good. Uh, about her weapon, she got attack, health, body armor, no shade rope, attack, speed. Gloves with defense speed and hell, boots with hell speed and defense, rings with speed, health, necklace with speed and defense. And as you can see, that I have the strength set because it gave me 50% more attack, which means more heals. But I believe I improve this it's better to have more attack more health more defense but this one is really hard to get because the love number the love number is scaled to too low speed is really good and that's it let's go to the next one and the next one is gonna be Gar Joshua Dark Joshua is the first poison cleric, or the first cleric that can do a lot of sap damage. Let's take a look of his basic attack, which inflicts damage. It's really good. Plus, heals the ally with the lowest portion of health. Something that take in mind that some importance is you need critical kit to heal. He needs to land critical kits to heal. That's very important. So that's another attribute that we need to rush up. His second skill heals the heals one ally. But this one is really good, it's one of the most important skills maybe for Colosseum. But you can use this one in other parts of the game because it fills the action goes by a hundred percent. That means if you got a slow striker, you can bring him to the front and act first with this skill, which is really good. And you can finish the battle if the striker is a AOE attacker. Now for last is ultimate, which 
inflicts three stacks of sub damage, which means poison. So he can do a lot of damage uh, to the enemy on the same process of healing all allies, which is really good. But take in mind that you need to land critical hit rates to heal. And plus, you need um, the uh, attack power to heal more. His first passive increase attack power, which is more heals. Second passive decrease damage from light elemental enemies. Now I'll take a look of his equipment. Whip up with defense, health, the buff rate, very important, the buff rate. Body armor with health, speed, defense. Gloves with attack, defense, and the buff rate. Boot with attack, critical key rate, which is very important. Speed, health, and defense. Ring with critical key rate, defense, health, speed, and the buff rate. This one are all really good. Necklace with speed, health, defense, and as you can see, uh, I got okay health, okay damage. I believe I can improve this one. Okay defense, okay speed, okay critical hit rate, critical hit damage doesn't need. I just need to keep the heals, not to do a lot of damage. The damage he's gonna do is, is extra because of his poison damage or sap damage. And the buff rate, which I need a lot more. Now, the next one, the next tire edge, it will be. Oh, no one. The next tire A, it will be Air Charlotte. Uh, why Air Charlotte? There's only one reason her ultimate kills all allies, a proportion to the user attack, so she needs a lot attack power generates a shield based on her health so she needs a lot of health and the other skill doesn't matter much maybe the first one which reduce the attack power though it doesn't matter first passive increase defense it helps some some and her second passive decrease damage from fire elemental enemies now her equipment she got weapon i only got the first one embedded the user health increase by five percent helps her shield her second weapon when she attacked there is a 50 percent chance to heal the like with the lowest amount of health this one uh, i don't know this one is just a single target this one is for the whole party Blech. And this one, upon attacking, 50% chance to remove one buff of the most recent buff of the enemy. If you call the buff the ray boxes, this could be really good. But like, we know we can do that. So this one, the first one, is the only one that we should mass to tire six. Okay. Let's take a look at her attributes. Health, I could improve that. As you can see, I don't have her well equipment because I don't use her much. I used to use her a lot at the beginning, but then their clarity got better. It's not my fault. Health is okay. I, I could improve this. At that power, I should improve this because she heals more with attack power. Defense is okay. It's better. Speed is really good. Critical hit rate, the buff, resistance. Maybe that's the only one that she needs a little bit more. Well, I need to focus on this first too. Her weapon with defense, speed, attack, health, 
body armor or sage rope with health defense gloves with health attack boots with defense attack ring with speed and defense and attack and hold that uh, yeah that's that's really good A speed on necklace with attack and health and that's it now the last one which is gonna be tire b tire b <laughs> no no v a tire b it's gonna be water charlotte but it's, it's really hard to decide because she's uh one of the first one and the only one clearly that can con control the enemy that can that is able to control the enemy because she can sleep the enemy with her basic attack so that's really good really good for the colosseum with a lot of speed and the boot rate she could sleep the water crown enemy which is kit for the enemies to succeed her basic attack sleep the enemy and generates a shield so you can spawn a shield and keep sleeping the enemy her second skill kills the the select ally based on her attack power and generates another shield which is uh, another group skill to buy their single target and her ultimate can heal all allies based on attack grant them a health regeneration buff which is really good use for strikers and warriors that can do a lot of damage guardians other clerics maybe snipers doesn't do anything we uh buff regeneration her first passive increase attack which means more heals her second skill decrease damage from air elements enemies air elemental enemies now I'll take a look of her equipment her weapon in battle the user health increase by seven percent this one is not really good her second one 50% chance to inflict quitter debuff. This one is good on Obelix. And last one, the Divine Relics. When she gets kit or she receives damage, 50% chance to record 20% health of the ally with the highest attack power. So she acts like a bodyguard. Her equipment, bar weapon with defense health attack body armor we attack defense gloves with defense health boots with health speed and defense ring with health defense and speed and necklace we held the buff rate which is important though i need a lot more defense and health it's because i don't use her so i don't focus on this attribute which is really important for her and the set i use is the strength set because you she can heal more with this as you can see the health is good attack is uh, so so defense is good speed not not good this one is the worst I need to improve this one plus the the buff rate okay now let's go with the premium heroes we already talked about mailing tire double s because of her second skill so because i don't have premium heroes i can show you how to how I, I cool equipment and this is not a, a guide on how to equip heroes it's a, a video about how i got my heroes equipped 
So <laughs> we're gonna jump to Fire Johan, which I believe is gonna be another tire eight or maybe tire B, but this skill, the first one, which attack all enemies, increase all allies critical hit rate and critical hit damage. So it's a buff really good for the strikers. Plus it heals uh, all allies in proportion of the damage deal if the attack is a critical hit. So he needs critical hit, he needs damage to make uh, some damage and heal in the same process. His basic attack, this one grants immunity buff and health regeneration buff to the user and the ally with the lowest portion of health. And his ultimate is really unique because the for the 42 buff, which give the user, the user will not fall, the user will not fall in battle no matter how much damage they take. But it works just for one attack. The second attack could, could be used one one damage and it could kill him. Okay, first pass increase critical hero, second passive decrease damage from elemental water elemental enemies. About his ultimate it increased the user attack power too. And the last one which is gonna be a tireless I believe she's really good too. Is like Vanessa another the, the third cleric Vanessa? We got four Vanessas in the game, we got three clerics and one guardian. Unbelievable! She's really good with her basic attack because she could kill with the basic attack, to heal all allies, same as the mailing live mailing yeah same as live mailing no live mailing is a sniper and this one is good too because it got it got the 50 percent chance to reduce the the damage her second skill is like fire vanessa ultimate plus a uh, buff which increase attack power, which is really good. You could use this every three turns and stay and the buff will stay for two turns. Really good skill if you combine this one with fire Vanessa. It's gonna be a really good blink team. Her ultimate heals all allies in proportion of the maximum health, grants them a health regeneration buff, and gives her an extra turn. Nothing really good, to be honest. Her first passive increased resistance, and her second decreased damage from dark elemental enemies. And I believe that's all thing clarice we got in the game at the moment. Don't forget, you're gonna see the full tire list down in the bottom of the this video, down on the, the description panel. And as always, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for your likes, share the video, and I hope you subscribe. And for last. I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna be on Tower of Fantasy because I really like the game. I'm gonna make still make content for Lord of Heroes. Stay I'm gonna do content for the survival games I play, the indie ones I really like. But the main game is gonna be Tower of Fantasy. Not for tutorials, so guys, maybe use gameplays. Use just to show every night farming so i'm gonna be on twitch and youtube okay so i call
to see your room later.